This video is about the Dead Sea, one of the Earth's most remarkable geologic features. The Dead Sea is notorious for its unusually high salt content, but there are also many other significant geologic processes and formations that occur in the Dead Sea. We will explore some of these in order to determine why the Dead Sea is such a revealing geologic location, what effects it has on current scientific research, and what still remains a mystery to us about this interesting location. Before discussing the scientific implications of the makeup of the Dead Sea, it is important to understand its geographic and geologic locations. The Dead Sea is located in Israel and Jordan along the boundary of the African and Arabian tectonic plates in the Dead Sea Basin. The rifting that formed the Dead Sea Basin is estimated to have begun about 18 million years ago in the Miocene on a special type of transform boundary possessing strike slip faulting that looks like this. Based on a measurement taken about 20 years ago, the water in the Dead Sea lies at about 409 meters below sea level. The name of the Dead Sea is deceiving. Even though it is very salty, it is not an ocean, but rather a terminal lake. Meaning that unlike most lakes, water only moves in one direction, into the lake. In the case of the Dead Sea, this one-way flow contributes to its saltiness, which is approximately 1,000% of that of a normal ocean. The only way water leaves the Dead Sea is through evaporation. And seeing as salt does not evaporate easily, most of it is left to collect in the lake. A geologic feature that is a significant result of the saltiness of the Dead Sea is a diapir. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a diapir is an anticlinal fold in which a mobile core has broken through brittle overlying rocks. In the case of salt diapirs like we see in the Dead Sea, this mobile core is made up of salt, which can have viscous qualities. Diapirs form because of active faulting, and because the Dead Sea is located on an extremely active transform boundary, faulting is common, and therefore so is the formation of diapirs. This picture shows a good representation of the formation of a diapir. There are two main diapirs in the Dead Sea. They are the Lizon and Sedum diapirs. You can observe their location in this picture. The Dead Sea is also an interesting place to observe the deposition of sediment. Although the most obvious feature of the Dead Sea is its salt content, there are lots of other materials present in the sea, and these materials are deposited in a variety of ways. Geologists Bartov, Bookman, and Enzel indicate six different environments in which sedimentary deposition occurs in the Dead Sea. They are fluvial systems, shore environments, fan delta environments, offshore environments, low stand systems, and high stand systems. Each of these environments presents a unique type of deposition varying in sorting, grain size, and shape, providing everything from mud to larger pebbles. Seismicity is also very relevant in the Dead Sea, seeing that a lot of data can be gathered from the environment since it is located on an active margin. Seismic testing is helpful in determining the location of the aforementioned diapirs. Furthermore, the saltiness of the Dead Sea is very helpful to geologists in experimentation with seismicity, seeing as salt has unique seismic properties. There is still much research to be conducted with respect to seismicity. Experts are still trying to piece together the history of earthquakes that have occurred in the Dead Sea area. Because the Dead Sea is such a unique environment, it is an excellent place to conduct all sorts of scientific research. Geologists, biologists, chemists, and other scientists alike have spent huge amounts of time and energy researching the Dead Sea. Geologists have conducted extensive research on the above-mentioned topics as well as many more. Biologists have dedicated great amounts of time to observing the life that can exist in the Dead Sea. Additionally, byproducts of the Dead Sea have recently gained recognition for their healing properties recommended by some for treatment of psoriasis, arthritis, asthma, and other ailments. Many scientists, especially geologists, are predicting what the future will bring for the Dead Sea. Something important to consider is the fact that the water level in the Dead Sea is constantly decreasing. Biologists 
continued to consider implications that the changes might have on life forms that live in the Dead Sea. Additionally, the Dead Sea is located in the midst of the Middle Eastern conflict, something that geologists indicate has been and is likely to continue being a problem for international research. In sum, the Dead Sea is an important geologic landmark for several reasons. Its location on the boundary between the African and Arabian plates provides a highly observable tectonic setting. The salinity of the Dead Sea produces many interesting geologic formations, including diapirs and unique seismic conditions. In addition to its salinity, the Dead Sea exhibits a wide variety of sedimentary deposition through many different depositional environments. The Dead Sea is no longer just a geologic formation. Today, it serves as the source of remedies for sicknesses as well as a highly visited tourist location. There are still many mysteries about the history and future of the Dead Sea, which scientists will be trying to uncover for years to come. In these senses, the Dead Sea is still very much alive.